Ah, that was fire. Shut. Excuse my French, okay? Let me play that again. Damn. So let's stick to the scale of G sharp minor or A flat minor. Uh, let me start with the. Let me start with the duck piano. Let me lower this here. Let me also set up the tempo as well. So A minor. With the A minor scale, basically, I'm gonna skip each like every highlighted note i'm gonna skip one place a note skip one place is like place a note like so uh skip this here place a note skip this here place a note skip this one Good, let's shift it down. Let me try uh, the bass here. Now it's now it's taking shape okay now it's definitely definitely taking shape So we're gonna now do the hi-hats. I wanna try, allow them to have as much space in between each note as possible. Uh, see how that goes. And if I don't like that, then maybe I can switch up and make them go as fast as they need to be. I'm not gonna use live hats though. I'm gonna use just typical trap hi-hats, okay? So let's see.
Okay, so I ended up choosing to go with a bit of both. So I have um, the more lazy hand realistic type play mixed with the hi-hat rolls, sort of like the digitized digital uh, type of style. So I just took a bit of both worlds basically. So I just maybe just want to delay these notes a bit just to take them off grid to just a bit just to take them off the grid and have them have a bit of swing because I also shifted it here so we get very much happy with it uh, I'm gonna also add maybe a clap here and see how how that sounds So these are the notes for the choir. I just want to play it and have you hear how just the presence of the choir now gives that element of darkness, uh, that element of orchestral to the whole beat. So we're steering now more to the dark um, orchestral side of the beat, right? So let me pre preview for, for you. Let me just play it for you. Right, so now to take things a step further, I'm gonna drop down, like drop down everything for semitones down, okay? Just like shift everything. So a quick way, instead of going into each and every individual pattern, it's to highlight all the, the, the instruments or the patterns that you want to have transposed and then come here, click this down arrow and go to transpose selected. Then it's going to ask you to input by how many values do you want it to be transposed up or down. So I'm going to say minus four. There we go. Let's listen to that. Goodness, what? Ah, that was fire. Shut. Excuse my French, okay? Let me play that again. Damn. So I'm gonna stop the beat right here, okay? 
comment below if you want me to finish up the beat because i have to attend something now but this is how you need to go about approaching your beats hope you like the video hope you enjoyed it it's new style of shooting my videos comment below and let me know if you like this type of videos comment below and let me know if you're okay with me making videos and stopping here as they are or you want me to arrange them further and play the whole thing together but i'm gonna stop here for the sake of time i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you did the right thing and subscribed and definitely turned on the notification bell and please make it a point that you comment below and let me know what you would love to see what are you struggling the most with your music production is it mixing is it strictly production is it mastering comment below and let me know my channel is still fairly small so i'm definitely gonna take those ideas and turn them into videos asap i'm gonna answer those questions and help where i can because it's all about you helping me grow and me helping you grow into this thing and just let's get the bag all right it's your voicing nature catch you on the next one peace peace whichever camera you're watching okay we out of here